Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 1045 in Honolulu, 345 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday, as we say on the islands. It is the fourth day of March. 2016 and this is the daily report for gold and silver our weekend review combined with trending markets so we can look at the entire breadth and scope of the market this week first to gold gold is trading in essence unchanged to down a couple of dollars currently trading at 1260 1261 in that area traded though to a high of 1279 so we had a tremendous rally almost uh 1280 and we'll look at that on the charts in a little bit in terms of the low low was 1250 on the day and as i said current print right now puts it off about three dollars at 1261 that's when we look at spot when we look at comex of course we've got the same price but the net change is different 1262.40 up four dollars and ten cents so traders the first chart that i do want to look at is a daily chart a standard candlestick format and if you recall from yesterday's show we talked about the fact that when we looked at the current characteristics of the market currently trading roughly at 1263 we noticed uh something very very strange and that was that if we looked at the series of lows that we got in the bottom we had a series of ascending lows in other words we had a series of lows which were higher than the previous lows when we looked at the highs and at that time we were looking really at three highs this high here here and here because we didn't of course have our breakout yet but what we noticed was the opposite was true uh, for the market on the upside and the highs of the market because what we saw was that we had a series of lower highs so lower highs higher lows we knew that the market once it hit the apex would break and break pretty hard we had anticipated the breakout would be to the upside and of course we saw that on yesterday's tremendous surge in the market that's right here in which we saw the market go to roughly about 1263 kind of where we're at uh today now our current stops are at uh roughly 1245 the low that we had today, of course, was 1250, so we were safe in terms of our stop itself. But the candle that we're getting right now is an interesting candle because it is a doji candle. We weren't able to sustain the upward move that we saw throughout the evening trading session, and therefore, we'll keep our stop right now at 1245. Of course, we're currently long at 1217. We got in roughly at in this area right here. Let me get my point pointer up but we got in roughly at this area here and so we're we've been able to really a uh, trail and trail our stop up and participate in this upside move the question is at what point will this market get a, a little top heavy and will we get some sort of a retracement now when we consider what we've done this year and that's what these markers here are really what we're looking at is the fact that the first trade we did this year was really on the 26th of january and we did one on the 7th we made about three dollars on that but on the 26th we actually bought at 1114 that's right here we bought the following day at 1117 we added to that position and so we had two positions we got out of one a little bit early because we got out of one right up here just at around 1200 we covered half of our position then we let the other half run and we got out of the other half with about a hundred and twelve dollars profit at 1229 we then got in at 1208 got out at 1209 and then of course we have this current trade now so we've made a series of one two three four five trades this year all five have been profitable all five have been long gold and i'm very very satisfied with what we're seeing right now except for the fact that i have to acknowledge we do have an interesting scenario brewing and i wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of weakness in the market based upon this candle however that could all change if we get any kind of firm open overseas there monday morning so traders the next chart that i want to look at is actually the same chart but we have compressed it from a daily format into a weekly format we talked about the fact that when you look at today's activity and the doji that we just spoke about it's really significant in showing us a potential potential hot spot or potential high in the market but you also have to realize that dojis and take a look at these two here this one here this is on a weekly chart of course and this one here simply signaled a period of consolidation a rest area
area, so to speak, before moving to higher ground, which is this week, of course. Now, this chart's a little bit off because it doesn't, it hasn't updated properly. And to actually show you what we're talking about, market's trading roughly at about 62, 63. So that's really the body size of the candle. The tail is correct. The tail does go up to uh, these highs here because we did have a high of 1280 in COMEX. But when you consider the kind of activity that we have had on the week, the fact that we're getting a little bit of profit taking is not that uncalled for. The other thing that is very, very noteworthy when we look at uh, this particular chart, of course, is the fact that we currently have our stop below 1245. And the rationale behind that is the fact that this is a 23% retracement of the high that we achieved at back last year in February, of course, roughly a year ago, the high that we achieved down to these record lows, this was not a historical low, but it was a record low since the market hit 1920. It's the lowest that it's been. And so when you do that, we, we get our different areas. And my sense right now is that the area of 12 45 is absolutely a strong support level. Now, at the same time, if the market doesn't weaken from that doji that we just saw and weaken throughout next week, our real resistance in the market doesn't come in until about 1300, 1306. It is based upon this top that was the top we just spoke about. In other words, the high that we saw back in February of 2015. Traders, maintain your current long position at 12.17. Traders, maintain your current stop, which is below 12.45. So traders, we talked about the fact that we absolutely, I believe, still have support at 1245. As I said, our current resistance, I am pegging at around 1300 and also to maintain our positions. Now, the next chart that I want to look at is going to give us more a flavor or a feel for the long-term view of the market because, of course, what we just talked about was a very, very short-term view of the market. Now, we're looking at a weekly chart, and on this weekly chart, we have our current Elliott wave count, and the way that we perceive it is that we we achieved when we saw the market trade to a historical and record high uh, back in 2011 hitting 1920 that concluded a major fifth wave from there this entire move from 1920 down to these lows of 1050 I believe was a major a wave and that was broken up as follows wave one a wave two a wave three uh, waves four and five were compression triangles and they were defined by these lows in this high so we had our three we had our four here we have a sub count within our fifth wave here and that went something like one two three four and then a wave five i believe that we are now in a sub count of a wave one all of this recent rally activity meaning the move from 1050 up over 1200 up over 1250 currently trading at 1262 this is all part of a uh, sub count one that will fit within an intermediate five count that will all be part and parcel of a major b now major b waves in terms of a standard model and again Traders, this is a multi-year view that we're talking about because the sub count and the intermediate count will go through this year. But I believe that once wave or the B wave concludes, it will take gold prices back off of these lows to about 1475, 15 on the low side. On the high side, I believe it could be as high as about 1600. Now again, I'm talking about a multi-year move. I'm not talking about something that's gonna happen overnight or possibly even this year. But in terms of my long-term forecast right now with gold, it is to see the market move back up gain substantial ground from these lows and to move initially to 1300 which is where we're pegging, pegging our current resistance area we'll probably see the market at that point correct and go into a, a counter wave down but this has been a tremendous rally we've gotten as i said a total of five trades out of it so far and they've been three of them have been very very profitable two of them have been roughly pushes they weren't losses but you know making a dollar or two dollars on a trade is certainly not a profit
So traders, it is about 11 o'clock right now, and we're looking at a page containing the net change on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, closing up uh, moderately strong, up 62 points today, but over 17,000, 17,006. And of course, that dramatically relates to our current trade in our long standard and pours vis-a-vis -vis the E-mini. Let's take a look at a chart of that now. So traders, we're looking at the the S&P 500 trading up about five points on the day at 1995.75, roughly in that area. You can see this on this daily candle here. Of course, we went long this market at 1979 with stops at 1965. And as I said, our current is 1995, 1996. Now, our real level of resistance right now, as we look at this particular market, I believe that we have real resistance at the 2000 mark. We can see that not only based on our Fibonacci numbers, and these Fibonacci numbers are based from the highs achieved before the August 2015 meltdown to the lows that we saw during that meltdown, and these are those lows at about 1831. Your 38% retracement level comes in at 2003. You can also see on a historical basis when we take a look at series of lows that came into these markets where this was without a question of a doubt at this point, a very supportive area in the market. At this point, it turned into resistance, obviously when we broke through here, and we currently have this particular level at as resistance. So we'll have to see how the market wants to trade throughout the next week. But I can tell you this, our first real indication that we had a market that was going into extended rally mode, and we certainly saw that, uh, was the fact that we broke above the 61% retracement at 1937, then again, the 50% retracement at 1970. But most importantly, what we did see also was the fact that we broke above this 50-day moving average. Now, for it to be construed as an extremely bullish market and a full-blown bull market, we need to go above the 200-day moving average, which is this solid line here. But we're getting closer and closer to that price point, and we we certainly have the opportunity should the market continue to trade higher to actually achieve that next week traders no doubt what a week we have seen in this market realize that gold is now trading uh, near a one-year high it's absolutely the highest that it's been trading this year we've just got to go back to 1300 to match what we saw a year ago in February so we've had a tremendous move in the gold market substantial substantial rally in the gold market as I said maintain your current long position in that maintain your current stop standard and poor's 500 US equities markets also tracking much higher on the week after breaking out and hitting some pretty severe bottoms last week. I'm very comfortable right now with our long maintain that current position. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.